Greetings, YouTube viewers. Had another dream uh, early this morning. I had woke up at 2:57 a.m. This dream was it took place in like some type of facility, almost kind of like a, a psych ward, kind of on how the um, the atmosphere was and what the people were wearing. They were, they were walking around like gloomy. It had like a pale, gloomy setting to it. It all it's all it was almost like we was on the island and um you know how like it. You know, if they send you to like a certain place and you don't know what's going on, you always got that one person that tells you, you know, who's who and and, and the operation of everything. Well, it was this girl there, you know, and she was just, she was talking to me and then she was looking out the window and she was like, she was just like this. Here's a whole scene from me to her. You'll hear my voice change and to who was saying what. So this is her. You know, they taking them to that island. They taking them all there. And I was like, as soon as she said that, I was like, the same thing they did to the Jews, they're going to do to them. And then I, as soon as I said that, I saw like a, a, a image of a picture of a whole bunch of Jews. And then um, as soon as I saw that and uh, she said, she said, they're, they're going to gas them over there on that island. They're going to kill them. And as soon as that happened, I I turned around there. This guy walking with glasses. I say he was like in his late thirties, like it, like he was the brains of the operation. Like probably like a doctor, cause he had on like some khaki pants with like a gray t-shirt, and it was like a whole bunch of group of other people walking with him, and they were they had on like just one like a one a onesie almost like a gown they had on and it was like a palish color too and he looked right at me he was like he knows he knows and I don't know if it was because what the girl had told me or what they was doing in the island and so he grabbed my hand and, and he sat in the corner by the window he grabbed my hand and he was looking at me and while he was grabbing my hand I felt a hand like on the lower part of my spine like putting pressure to my spine a lower part it, and it was almost like the hand like the pressure went inside through my body the back of my spine you know because I had like like twitch like that but but I wasn't scared and I was looking at the guy and once he grabbed my hand he he had like a, a, a scared look on his face you know and he was like he was like shaking he was like you know and I was just staring at him and then I was thinking of you know because those who are, who haven't accepted the Lord, you know, are going to be blinded, you know, and then those who already have accepted the Lord and backslidden are going to be blinded, you know, that that delusion that they will believe a lie, and because I knew the truth, I guess he was trying to uh, convert me and make and uh, make me into one of them, like some mindless drone, you know, like that girl was talking, you know, almost like like she was on. Uh, like a antidepressant or something it, it's kind of like you know like the people there were like sedated heavily and how she sounded it was like you know like they're never going to get out of there she's going to be there until she dies until it's her turn that's how it was and they were sending I just, I'm assuming it's just Christians you know if I had if I was saying about the Jews and their, their beliefs how they were persecuted in the Holocaust, you know, they were in that ghetto. And uh, oh, speaking of a ghetto, uh, side note, college knowledge here: a ghetto. The actual term of a ghetto was uh, the confinement that the Jews were in. So if this was a wall, and this was a wall, that's that's only they can move to this wall or either that wall. That was how much space they had. That was called a ghetto, not. The hood, people. Oh, you know. Oh, I'm from the ghetto. I'm from the ghetto. Uh, you know, do some research. You know, I I just correct people when I hear. I mean, you know what the actual term of a ghetto is? It's where the Jews were persecuted at and killed in this Holocaust. That was their ghetto, barbed wire fence. You know, and Christians. That's that's based off this dream. That's coming to us. They're gonna hunt us down like rabbit dogs, you know, like wolves hunt sheep, and they're gonna be relentless. 
and some of your close friends it already it's already uh prophesied in the bible you know mother is going to turn against daughter daughter against mother father son son father you know vice versa mother-in-law brother-in-law you know sisters brothers they're going to all turn against each other and the person that you think you're going to trust the most is going to turn against you if they don't have you know that relationship that security with jesus and they're going to sell you up for a, a morsel of meat and they're going to get to a lot of people through their kids i'm sorry you know they're going to use their kids a lot and that's how a lot of people are going to bend to the will of this new world order oh you know your kid won't eat but look what happened to um, you know abraham when he had uh ishmael with um Sarai's uh, handmaiden I always forget her name I forgot her handmaiden's name and uh, that he slept with her had Ishmael and he was going to die out in the wilderness after the Lord had uh, told Sarai to uh, tell Abraham to make her handmaiden leave and her son Ishmael sent him out to the wilderness that's why Ishmael is called a wild child he grew up without a father and he was starving that uh, his mom put him on one side of a desert and she kept on walking away so she wouldn't hear him cry you know because he was hungry and you know death was coming to him but the Lord spoke to her and told her to go back to him and uh, he has saved them and uh, blessed and blessed Ishmael and a lot of people are going to be converted or you know for the sake of their kids you know but if we would put our, if you would do now, it's not too late while you're still breathing. If you put your trust in the Lord now, you know, pray for guidance. Find out what to do. He'll take care of you, you know. And then you got that encounter with the, I think it was Elijah. The Lord sent Elijah to the house with the mother and son. And they only had rice just for enough for them. And, he, and, and she told him that too. And he said, you know, fix me something to eat, you know. And she obeyed him. And when she went back to like the rice to get some more rice after she had fixed some food, it was filled up. The Lord had replenished it because of her faith. You know, so if we just trust in the Lord, you know, uh, not only us, but our kids will uh, will be taken care of as well. You know, he's going to take care of us. You know, when a time of uh, persecution arises, you know, some of us are going to die. And some of us are meant to die you know for the sake of the gospel but it's weird everybody wants to get to heaven but nobody wants to die to get there and I tell myself I tell the Lord all the time I was like Lord you know I feel like I'm in an epic battle you know if there if we're if this was a war I mean a war is going on uh, you know if I was you know in an epic battle and I had to get to this tree to get a plant or you know a flower or something from this tree and I knew I was outnumbered with the odds and whatever my army was you know we were outnumbered and I knew I had a chance of losing my life but if it were to put a smile if it were to put a smile on my savior's face God's face I would go right there even at even at to take my life just to get a plant or a flower to give to him and I won't stop until the last breath is drawn from me, I will fight to the end. Protector and champion of the people. This is why I have the name, nickname Jathan Tribune. Jathan means God given, and Tribune is a protector and champion of the people. Together, a God given protector and champion of the people. But a champion is a man who gets back up even when he can't. And it's all for the Lord, for to glorify His name, not mine. Um, please pray, always examine yourself daily, and um, that time is coming. And I just pray that you guys are ready. Thanks.